Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss again about the Scatterpy interview questions, but this is uh, another set that I have received. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So here we go. So this is it too, like, uh, like I said, and the role is for a senior tab developer. Like I said, Scatterpy is actively hiring for uh, various roles across vari uh, various locations. So start applying if you have not already. So, you know, I have got a uh, few interesting questions. First thing is we look up how to apply we look up in Excel. So let us see that. So what I've done is I have taken a data set with this. Okay. Like say I have employee ID, name, location, salary, and age. So based on that, we look up is a very powerful function that is there in Excel. Okay. So what I'm doing is I want to have taken few employees here. Okay. In a separate uh, tab sheet two, I want to search if this employee is present in my sheet one or not. Okay. Again, I'm repeating. I want to search if my employee ID in sheet two is present or not. Okay. So based on that, that I want to display here. So simply how can I write here? Okay. Equal to your formula in Excel starts with equal to, okay? And I'm writing VLOOKUP, okay? Open the bracket. So what do we want to search? We want to search this employee ID. So I'm selecting this column two, okay? After that, put the comma. Now, where do we want to search? We want to search in sheet one. So simply I'm going to sheet one and I'm selecting all the entire data set that we have, okay? You can do it like this, or you can simply select only this column, okay? Because I want to select this, that also you can do. So after this, just enter comma, okay? One comma zero, if it is existing one, otherwise zero, just hit enter. Now, because this employee ID is present in that sheet one, it is giving us. Now I want to extend this formula, simply drag it till the last. Now see here, we have four employees present in the first tab, but these two employees are not present. So that's why it is giving an A. Okay. For this also, you can use one of the common use cases of VLOOKUP. Now I'm little enhancing this scenario. What I want is for employee here, I want name here. So where do, where do I have name? I have name here, right? Okay. So I want this to be printed whenever it finds this employee ID. So how can I do here again, equal to VLOOKUP of, okay, this employee ID, okay, again, search this employee ID if it is present or if he is present in this entire sheet, okay? So I'm selecting the entire data set now, okay? If he is present, give me second column here, right? Because second is, employee name so i'm writing two comma zero that's it if i hit enter we got name okay like that i can do now if i want to pull till the end this way i can solve this okay now if you want third column location you can just enter three comma zero or salary you know four comma zero or age you know five comma zero whatever you want you can give it here okay instead of two here if i give five it will give me age. If I want location, I can give four. So like this, we can solve. So thing is, we need to know this formula. Otherwise, it is very important. So four is salary here. Okay. So that's about we look up very important function in real time from data analyst perspective. Also, this is very frequently used. Next is what is self-join? A join with the self table or the same table is called as a self-join in uh, SQL. Again, what is window function? We have seen window function yesterday in this, okay? Uh, we got new question here again, how to find new and repeated customers. Let us try to find out that. I am trying to go to uh, Tableau and I'm trying to take my order date The first thing that you need to understand here is how are you classifying your new customer and old customer? Okay. So what I am thinking is like, say, consider this Aaron here. Okay. So Aaron is placing orders from 2021 
and till 2023 he has placed so if you see here aaron hawkins is also placing order from 2021 and he is continuing till to 2024 which means these customers are existing customers right so because they are already part of our system and they are regularly coming and visiting our business right so now i want to find out those customers whose first order is somewhere around 24 right because my current year is 24 right so this customer has placed first order in 2021 which means this customer will be new customer if we are considering from 2021 perspective but we are considering from 2024 perspective because that is our new new year or the latest year right so i want to find out the minimum order date for each customer okay so for that i'm just trying to take okay so first uh, order per customer okay i'm writing fixed customer name for each customer give me order date or give me min of order date that's it okay so what it will do it will give me minimum order date for each customer now even though i have three order dates here it will give me only this so i'm clicking on apply okay okay i'm just taking this again and dropping it on to my view let us take this screen so what is it it is printing it is printing latest year right i mean minimum year so 1821 so it is printing here 2022 421 it is printing that 27 7 21 it is printing that so it is ignoring all the other days now let us find out if there are any customers who have placed their first time order in 2024 i'm not you know interested wherever they can place in 24 but i want if their minimum is 2024 okay so what i'm doing if my year of this first time order is equal to year of today so now what is happening with this automatically we are restricting our customer to the current year right so if year of today means what we'll get from here 2024 we'll get so if 24 from here is equal to 24 from this first time customers then I'm calling that as a new customer. Else, he is a repeated customer symbol. And end it. New or repeated. Click on apply. Okay. Now I can take this and drop it on label. Sorry. Where did it go? Okay. I'll just put it here. Now, if at all we want to verify, I'm just dropping it on filter shelf and I'm considering only new customer apply. Okay. Now look at here. Okay. This Christina has placed his first order in 24 only. You know, this Chuck has placed his first order in 24 only, which means these are latest year customers. Clay has placed his order in 24 like that. So we can use this in a calculation or we can also use this in filter shift. okay so that is how we can find out if a customer is a new customer or an existing customer or a repeated customer next is create a view or create a vis based on parameter selection on mtd ytd qtd so here user has a view something like this okay like say category you can take okay and you can take uh, maybe order okay now what user want is he wants the parameter you can create a parameter here but it will have list of values like say i'm just taking select okay so data type like say if i am taking string here i will write list of values like say mtd ytd qtd okay so click ok so again show parameter now you have to write a calculation for each of this mtd you have to write a calculation ytd you have to write a calculation and then qtd three calculations you have to write and then again one common calculation where you will write something like this case 
of your select value your parameter okay when it is uh, like say qtd then you have to take qtd calculation like say sales here like that so when it is mtd you have to take your mtd calculation that you have written like say profit something like this and then you have to end it that's it so this way you can solve this scenario okay so i think that's it from my side in this video i hope you have learned something new if it does don't forget to give your valuable feedback in the comment section see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day